Hello. Oh, hi. Is this Karen? Yes, it is. Oh, hi. Um, you you brought in some 35 millimeter film today to to have developed. The two. Yes, s- I got it developed. It was fine. Okay, but it's just um, like the the film itself, the 35 millimeter rolls, like we um put them under the light and everything. And uh, a picture of Jesus appeared on them, like the shape of Jesus on one and then oh. the Virgin Mary on the other. No, all I saw was my cat. Yeah, I mean, it, it looked fine on the photos that we gave you, but there's a picture of Jesus. Just okay. the, the outline, the silhouette of Jesus and then the silhouette of well, the... Vir- one of the, the last cat picture of, uh, of uh, Kit had... Um, uh, Jesus red on it. Oh, that might have been a like a dye. A, 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 a what? Dye. I'm sorry. A red dye on it. Oh, yeah, that could have been like a, a remnant of the silhouette of Jesus. Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't see it. So, I mean, are you a religious person? Do, do you know where these were taken? No, I'm not. I'm not a religious person. Uh, well, I mean, these, this is definitely, without a doubt. I mean, this is the shape of Jesus. I'm not. They should have shown you the the 35 millimeter film. Like we don't get a lot of no, these. I have the, I have the 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 film in the the thing with the CD. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, you have the negatives, but like we have yeah, the, the, the actual the roll still. And if you look at the roll oh. and hold it up to the light, there's Jesus on one, and then there's the Virgin Mary on the other. Oh. And then when you when you um, pull it kind of like out of the roll, uh, it drips blood. Oh, well, I, uh, that's what must have been that red stuff that was on there. Oh, it must have been. The red dye yeah, stuff? because there was red stuff on the last picture of the kit. Oh, well, that might have been our fault, because I think we dripped um, the blood of our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ onto your picture. Oh, well, that's, I don't know about that, but uh, anyway, the cat, the one picture of the cat. So these are my little feral kittens I saved. So. Oh, I see. That's nice of you. Um, yeah. Well, do you want these physical rolls back? Because, I mean, they're, they're I think they're like religious relics at this point. And I mean, they're probably. Well, you can have them. You can have them. All I, you know, all I want is my cat picture. So you know. But but our our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, is on on this, and the Virgin Mary. My like, cats matter more to me than that. The, no, no, nothing's more important than Jesus, ma'am. I think you're mistaken. <laughs> no, to me at this point, my cat's the most important thing in okay. my life. Okay. Well, I mean, when you die and you go before the pearly gates, are you going to? Tell them that your cats are more important than Jesus. What do you think they're going to say to you? Um, I don't believe in that. When I die, that's it. My spirit goes into the air, and that's it. You're going to go to hell. I mean, you're not even going to go before the pearly gates. You're going to go straight to hell with that kind of an well, attitude. Well, that's probably true, but, you know, it's like anything else. Um, I'll be with my cat. Okay, well, f- forget religion. These are probably worth money. I mean, you've heard about people um, putting on eBay things that have the... The image of Jesus well, Christ. if you want to put those on eBay and sell them, go ahead. Well, I wouldn't do that because I, I'm not a, a, an, a, an atheist keep them. destined They're for hell like keep. you are. Well, you know, if I'm going to hell, that's fine. I'll be there with a lot of people. You're a sick woman. You need to be saved. Well, Next time you come to the store, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you all night tonight. Well, good. Thank you. I appreciate that. And you could enjoy the pictures. Okay, listen, ma'am, I need to know... Um, how many, f- how many fingers can your cat take? What do you mean? Uh, up its vagina. Um, I'm sorry. We don't talk about things like that. Why not? You're not a Christian. You may as well. H- how many fingers I'm not can your... I'm not the whore of Babylon either, buddy. Oh, <laughs> listen to you. I, I want yeah, to I wanna know. How ma- I want to know. I don't call people in the middle of the night and say that there's strange pictures on your, on your video on your uh, camera film. Well, I'm not. Of, I'm not making it up. I mean, have you well, ever have you ever fisted your cat? I don't do things like that, sir. And I don't want you calling here anymore. I'll call the police department and turn you in. How many fingers have you gotten in your cat's vagina? I don't put my fingers in the cat's vagina, and I don't think anybody else should either. Me either. But I mean, I'm religious and. You're not. Well, good for you. That's your right as an American citizen to do to believe how you want. That's what the Constitution I can, says. I can it's tell by your freedom attitude. Freedom of religion. Got it? Right. And the okay. Constitution and doesn't say anything. I don't want to call anyth- here anymore. If you call here anymore, I will contact police department. The Constitution Decide. doesn't say you're allowed to fist your cat, though. That's disgusting, ma'am. Oh. Oh, hi. Is this Curran? Um, 
That's my brother. Oh, great. Yeah, I'll talk to him then. Um, he's actually not here right now. This is my personal cell phone. Oh, well, he left, um, your, he left your personal cell phone on his pictures that he had developed here? Um, he shouldn't. I'm confused. Yeah, he definitely gave your um, number. I don't know why he'd give your number. That's weird. Is there... Um, because I ordered 50 pictures that I, I had canceled it last night because I had to get the release form from the photographer, and I ended up getting it this morning and went in and, and I reordered it online and went in and picked them up. Yeah, they were picked up, but um, there there was a lot of nip slips on it. There were, there were a couple nip slips. And we can't be developing stuff like that because that's pornography. What? The, the nip slips. I don't know if you looked through the pictures yet, but there were a couple of nip slips in there. No, th- not these pictures. These were pictures of my daughter and my family. Yeah, yeah. And my c- dog. Yeah, they were underage. We we can't have nip slips of underage people with the dog. I'm I'm so confused. What do you What do you mean? Nip slips. Like we're not allowed to, I have to no develop. Idea what that is. We're not avail nipple. Um, you know, wardrobe malfunctions. Oh, that, that those pictures were not us. Oh well, who was that then? I mean, even we, you, we, even we, even if they're not you, we can't have you developing pictures of other people that have nip slips. I I never. I mean, who were even, these? Who were these people I, if they weren't you? Well, Brian's my brother, but um. I have, I didn't know that he was developing pictures underneath my name. Oh, yeah. I mean, maybe it was to avoid detection by us. You know, he he didn't want to get in trouble for it. I mean, I I can call him and ask him, um, but I can put him on three way if, if, if you have his number. I could huh? put him. I could put him on three way if you have his number. To to find. Um, hold on. Okay. One six. Uh huh. Hello. Hey, it's Connie. Okay. Did you try and develop some pictures at today? No. Why? Because um, it's actually on the line with us right now, and they they're saying that you gave them my number and we're trying to develop pictures, and some of them were nip slips. No, I haven't developed any pictures for a few years. Ma- ma'am, can can you shut that kid the fuck up? What? Can, can you shut the kid the fuck up? I can't hear. I can't hear. I can't hear. I can't hear, I can't hear, I can't hear Brian the pervert if the the kid's crying. He's not a pervert. And he just told you that he didn't do it. I didn't. I didn't say the kid was a pervert. But but I mean, can you shut the kid the fuck up? Can you be a pervert? Okay. I'm not using language with you. Well, I mean, at least I'm not developing, you know, nip slips of Me underage. Either. It's obvious that someone else is using my brother's name. I haven't developed any pictures in like four years, man. No, no, we see we see him on the security cameras. I'm pretty sure Brian's a pervert. Okay, then we can come in tomorrow and look at the security cameras, because I am pretty sure my brother would not be doing this. We have VHS security tapes. We also saw him steal some batteries on the way out. Do you even know what my brother looks like? Yeah, I can see him on his cell phone right now. We we have video chat. FaceTime. Are you serious? Yeah, well, yeah, we can see everything. And, I mean, it's totally him. I'm, I'm positive. And, yeah, he stole batteries from us early, earlier today. Okay, well, I would still like to come in tomorrow with my brother and look at these security tapes. Can, we're going to have to, I mean, have him arrested for shoplifting and, and um, you know, being a pervert. I haven't even left the house at all today, so what are you talking about? Well, of course you're going to say that. You're going to deny it and pretend well, really? that it wasn't you. He was home with his, his kids. What, was, was that your kid being a, a fucking brat, or was that Brian's? Ah, oh, he's annoying. I mean, imagine what he's going to be like, like, you know, a month from now. You need to start dis- d- disciplining that brat. She is 11 weeks old. She doesn't understand. I mean, hit her. No. She is 11 weeks old. Honey, she doesn't understand. Honey, hang up. Hello? 
Oh, hello? Is hello? It, oh, hi, I'm sorry. Is this Angelina? You had your photos done mm-hmm. here earlier? Yeah. Okay, and, um, you know, we checked the security cameras after you left, and we saw that you shoplifted batteries and tampons. So, oh, okay. Yeah, we we definitely need you to bring back that stuff that you shoplifted after you got your pictures. So I have to bring, uh, maybe tomorrow I can stop by. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, you you understand that's illegal, right? You're not allowed to shoplift. You can't steal oh, from. Oh, because the, the the lady she was uh um she was um help me. Oh, to do that. she said you could shoplift. The lady for the pictures. Oh, really? Did she, yeah, did, did she was she... telling me because I didn't know how to use the machine. Oh, really? Did she did she say yeah. uh, did she say oh since you're foreign and you don't understand you're allowed to shoplift tampons and batteries. Oh, okay, but I can be there if you want. Um, can you come right now and bring bring back the stuff you stole from us? You you, you stole merchandise. You stole from our store. No. Yeah, yeah. We show here on the on the security cameras. What I get? Oh, you stole tampons, and you stole batteries, and you stole beer. And you stole a DVD of er- no, Erna- yeah. Ernest Saves Christmas on DVD. No, and- no, no. I'm just stop by and I'm just doing like some pictures and that's it. And then also after all that, you stole Kenny Loggins' Greatest Hits on CD. I can stop by tomorrow. And you stole some Valentine's Day candy that was on the clearance aisle. No, maybe you. Um... And you stole some adult diapers. No. And then you went into the toy aisle, and then you stole some plastic army men and an army tank. And you stole the board game for the office. Then you went over to the makeup aisle. You stole eyeshadow, and you stole lipstick. And, no, I can stop by. Okay. And then after that, um, you went behind the counter, and you got underneath the cash register, and you stole a crate of cigarettes. And when you were out in the parking lot, we have cameras out there, too. And you stole the sign. You, you put that in your trunk. No. I can um, stop by tomorrow, but uh, it definitely was not me. Okay. We need the tampons that were used and the ones that you didn't use. And it looks like you stole a full-size cutout of Captain Kirk. Um, it, um, he's selling Expedia online. Yeah, because uh, I I need to like somebody to help me, you know, like to go because I don't understand everything what you told me right now. But oh. I can be there tomorrow because you know maybe something is confused and uh, I don't think uh, I but, don't do that. Yeah, we, we saw it on the cameras. I'm calling from security. Yeah. We saw that you went into aisle five and you took a big dump in the aisle, and then you no. t- and then you stole a Jackie Chan movie. You're a bad lady and you're going to hell. And oh, and Maybe. it looks like oh, here I'm I'm scrolling through uh, the security tape. You stole some laxatives and a big wheel. Okay, uh, let me ask my sister. Maybe she wants to take me over there right now, and maybe I can stop by. And then you stop over there. you went into the pharmacy area and you stole extra large condoms. Okay, let me go to, with my sister, and maybe she can take me right now over there, and we can see. You well, know, because I definitely, I, it was not me. Oh, okay, look, um, yeah, let's, okay. r- wait, where? I want to make very clear, clear everything, just this thing, and I want to make clear, you know? While you were um stealing the crate of cigarettes from behind the register, uh, it looks like the cashier showed up, and she confronted you, but then to get out of trouble... You uh, had sex with the cashier. Okay. Okay, so thank you, and I uh, will be there. Oh, it you looks know? like you went into the back room after, and there was a semi truck at the loading dock uh, delivering a shipment, and you got into the truck and you drove off with an entire shipment from the entire uh, Southern California Walgreens deliveries. And you took everything, and shopping carts, and a payphone, and then you raped a cactus. So you don't deny this? 
Yeah, I deny it. Everything because. Uh, we're showing that you used a red box on the payphone outside of the store. No, 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 no. I never used that. I never. You, you didn't use a red box to make illegal telephone no. calls. No, no, no. To Mexico. No. no. Then you 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 turned the tractor trailer around, and you drove it through the store. And nope. Then, and then you reached the, your hand out the window of the semi truck and stole all of the suppositories. And intended to induce anal, anal vomiting, and then you you set off the, nope. uh, you, you set off the sprinklers me, uh, that set off the sprinklers, no. and then you went across the street and, and you robbed the bank, and then you stole my heart, and then the people that came in with you they went out into the parking lot and they stole a bunch of cars that belonged to customers, and and you ran over a cardboard cutout of Mitt Romney and Obama. Or, or as Jalanta would say, Romani. And then you murdered you. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> Holy crap! I'm dizzy from watching that weird animated thing for 15 minutes, so I'm turning it off. Hey, you two peoples! Uh, the calls you just listened to were taken from a live show I did a few weeks ago on the Madhouse Radio Shoutcast stream. Uh, there's a link to that in the description. Hopefully, if I don't forget. So if you want to listen to the entire show, I've gotten some emails from people, uh, from viewers asking about the chat room and that I'm always referring to. And where is it? And it's the Madhouse chat room, which is located on the IRC server of irc.madhouselive.com. And the room is pound Madhouse. Or if you don't know about IRC, just go to madhouselive.com slash chat. And the chat room is not owned by phone losers, but you'll find a lot of PLA people there. And you'll definitely find people that are into prank calls. And, um, you know, on the weekends, you'll hear live prank call shows. And the most important one is on Sunday evenings, which is Carlito's show. But there's also shows on Friday and Saturday. And sometimes I get on there. And sometimes there's just random shows throughout the week. So join us in the chat room. Say hi. Uh, I know it's been a couple of weeks since I put any pranks up on this channel. But I've done some pranks on other channels. And you can click on the screen to hear a prank call about uh, naked animals on Anna Hebel's channel. And then there's another one on her channel about a hidden camera in a 7-Eleven bathroom. Uh, apparently, 7-Eleven employees are completely okay with their corporate office putting cameras in their bathroom to make sure they're pooping properly. And then also there's a live show I did with Anna and Petty Pranks. So make sure you subscribe to Anna's channel because she does lots of bizarre prank stuff. And apparently I'm on her channel a lot lately. There's also a phone call I made yesterday on my personal YouTube channel to this lady named Michelle. And it's not a prank call exactly, but it's kind of strange, and even if you don't like the call, it's worth taking a look at just to see the bizarre tweets of this lady that I talked to. There's this guy I know that's contributed to PLA pranks in the past, and his name is Brandon Krebs, and his girlfriend Alexis has been making PLA-themed charms on ETSY.com. And you can get an Obey the Cactus guy right now, but I'm told that soon there's going to be PLA logo charms and other things to buy that's uh you know themed around our pranks and stuff so go to alexis's shop and buy our pla stuff because it's cool and these etsy crafts it's something i've tried to have done before but nobody really followed through on it but if you make things like gloves or hats or sweaters or cell phone cozies or whatever uh, slap a pla logo on it and i'll link to you from phonelosers.org and you don't have to pay me for this or anything for using the logo i just think it'd be cool for fans of PLA to, to have things like that. So if, if you're into creative things and you can do things like that, then do it. I'm attempting to start up an animated show called Telephone Falls, which will feature skits and, of course, prank phone calls. Uh, calls by me, calls by other prank callers that don't suck. And this is going to be like a 30-minute long show, and I'm hoping to have the first one out in about a month from now. So if you want to be ready for that to happen, you should subscribe to the Telephone Falls Facebook at facebook.com slash telephonefalls. And you can read updates there and find out, you know, how I'm, how it's coming along and look at some of the artwork. And then there's the Telephone Falls YouTube page at youtube.com slash Telephone Falls. So subscribe to that stuff and be ready for that to come out. And subscribe to PLA on Facebook and Twitter. And if you enjoy the pranks, then share them. Damn it. See you guys next time. <laughs>